So how do you become more productive? I realized three things about being productive. Number one, am I in my A game? Does my best talent, skills, and abilities come out when I'm doing something? Number two, is it making me money? Because you can be in a passion, you can be in an interest, you can be in a, and it brings out your anger, but if you're not making money doing it, you gotta find a way to monetize that. And third, and last but not least, is it exponential? Meaning, is it allowing, actually allowing me to open up more doors? You know, going into another month of this pandemic crisis with a stay at home order and a quarantine, I think a lot of people are understanding a lot about themselves. You know, I hope this time that you're taking at home isn't just diving into Netflix and diving into season episodes and videos that you'd never thought you'd watch. Because quite frankly, I mean, why weren't you watching that before? And if you are now watching videos, and you are watching content online, you are watching things and learning things and entertaining yourself with a lot of things, I hope that you are doing one of three things. I hope that you're learning a new skill I hope that you're learning a new craft, uh, getting some wisdom and knowledge. As a matter of fact, we just got a master class here of uh, Neil uh, Tyson, uh, the world's most famous astrophysicist, just so I can learn how to process information faster, to create data, create wisdom, and to see the world in a much different place. And then the third thing, I hope that you at least consider from an economic and financial standpoint that you're starting a side hustle, you're starting a side business. A lot of people, I think the word right now is a lot of people are filing for unemployment. 10 million people in the last three weeks have filed for unemployment. And that's sad, Sambo. And so when, when you're looking at your life, when you're looking at where you're at right now, I hope that you're realizing one of two things. Was I just busy in life or was I productive in life? And I'm, am I being productive when we're out of this thing? And so when I came out of the Marine Corps, when I came out of my experiences of having nothing, broke, busted, disgusted, I realized very quickly in my life when I was left alone to think, I was left alone to think and say, you know what? I've been busy. Because after eight years, nine years, 10 years of myself in the military working for somebody else, I realized I had nothing to show for. I realized I had a lot to owe for. And so one of the things I hope that throughout this quarantine, that you're realizing, okay, what was just me just being busy, being busy? 21 years of me being an entrepreneur and helping the community, helping the public, helping people with the concepts of money and entrepreneurship and transition from one career to another, helping athletes in transition, helping military personnel transition. The conversation they've had most of the time is, well, I'm busy doing this, I got this going, I got this going on, this going on, great, totally understand, that's life. But it doesn't always have to be life. Because life is what you make it and what you think it, because how you see things is how you do things. And when you're looking at just being busy, being busy, the conversation has to be introduced to as well. Am I actually being productive? Is the next one year, two years, five years, or 10 years actually going to be productive in your life? Because one thing I know for sure, time flies by quickly. For those of you that's watching this video, I mean, do you remember what you're doing this time last year? You probably do. If you're in your 20s right now, do you remember what you were doing when you're 15, 16, 17 years old? For those of you in your 30s, do you remember what you're doing when you're 15, 16, 17 years old? For those in your 40s like myself, do you remember what you're doing when you're 15, 16, 17 years old? Now that many of your kids are getting older, you're starting to coach them in much, much different ways outside of just being babies. I'm sure you do. Because here's the fact that I realize, if I don't take productive use of my time in my life, I go like this, blink. Life just went by. Blink again. Even more time just went by. So how do you become more productive? I realized three things about being productive. Number one, am I in my A game? Does my best talent, skills, and abilities come out when I'm doing something? Because why waste more time of your life being busy when your natural skills and abilities don't get to be expressed in your life no matter what is it that you're doing? Number two, is it making me money? Because you can be in a passion, you can be in an interest, you can be in a, and it brings out your anger, but if you're not making money doing it, you gotta find a way to monetize that. Otherwise, you're just being busy, being busy, and then next thing you know, you are struggling this, you're struggling that, next thing you know, 20, 30 years going by, you're just being in your A game, and you haven't monetized it, you haven't found a way to make it economically pay off for you, you're just stuck being in that thing. Sure, you're probably more skilled, yeah, you got more experience, but from a financial standpoint, you're like, wow, where did my life go without me making any money. 
And third, and last but not least, is it exponential? Meaning, is it allowing, actually allowing me to open up more doors? Is my interests, or is my thoughts, is my views, is my perception, is my business, is my economic life opening up more doors and creating more opportunity for me? Because here's, thing, here's one thing I do know. When life goes by, and it will, you can look back and say, man, did I accomplish something? Do I have something to show for? So I can pass on, my t pass on to my kids and hand it to them so they can create a legacy out of it. Many of you have been realizing a lot of new skills. Listen, one of the things I learned during this quarantine so far is how to do TikTok. What the heck is a 46-year-old guy doing on TikTok? You know what? Perhaps my, my mentor, Patrick McDavid, he said, listen, your TikTok followers and friends might be your future clients and our associates when they reach their early 20s and 30s, but they've been following you on TikTok for years and they've been able to vibe with you. They understand your personality and they may be a part of their life now. They say, boom, this makes sense. I have an adult conversation with the money smart guy about money, finance, entrepreneurship, and life in general. Matter of fact, this afternoon, I just got off a phone with somebody that I've discovered your videos. So oh, of course, you, you know what I've been doing. I've been doing this for 20 years. Yeah, I know, but I discovered in a mom's group I'm a part of. And we caught up this afternoon. Obviously, because people have more time. She called me, she sent me a message. We had a brief conversation. She goes, yeah, I remember you back when. I remember back when you were just getting this started, getting this started, and you're launching your business, and you're a single dad. And Matt, are those the twins that I see on your videos right now? Yeah, those are the twins. Oh my gosh, you're women now. I know. But isn't that something? Time does fly by. So. My encouragement to you throughout this quarantine is I hope that you start writing down what am I actually busy at? Is it getting me my, getting me my A game? Is it making me money? And number three, is it exponential allowing me to open up more doors, to create more opportunities, not only for myself, but for my children and people, those around me. That being said, stay healthy, you stay safe. I'd love to know what you think and love to know what your thoughts. Drop them in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, if you haven't followed our YouTube channel, Seven Figure Squad, to give you the tools, the strategies, the mindset, and, and the ideas to help inspire you to become the next multimillionaire of the future. We have a saying, I want to be tomorrow's old money. Make sure you follow our YouTube channel, click subscribe, hit notification, be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. And if you're watching us also, our Instagram stories, make sure you follow us on Instagram at Money Smart Guy. Till then, appreciate you tuning in. Continue smart, continue smart, and be money smart today.